Holly here. Hope you're finding these videos useful and that you're putting in place some of the practices and that your child is becoming happier and life is a little less stressful. Today I'm going to be talking about bad days because whatever our intentions, there will be the days where there will be meltdowns, particularly during the summer holidays and holiday times. Life hasn't got a routine. Um, structure isn't in place and there will be the inevitable tears, frustrations and meltdowns. So what do we do about it? I would suggest during a calm time you discuss with your child what would you like to happen, put the ball back in their court, what, what do you think we could do when things are just getting overwhelming. Perhaps you could have a very quiet space in the house somewhere where he or she could go and just chill on their own. I always think it's a good idea to make a den. You can either drape um, a sheet over a table or you could buy something like these. These are available from Argos, they're not terribly expensive, um, or Amazon or any other online place and have a very special quiet time where he or she could go when everything's just getting too much. Or they might need a run in the garden or go to the park or, or a punch bag or a cushion or something to get rid of that frustration or anger. But we want to try and work out what is it that triggers that kind of behaviour. So you need to keep a diary. When is it that the ch your child has these meltdowns? Is it an overstimulation of sound, of smell, of busyness? Is it that they're bored, they're tired, there's an unexpected change? Make a note and then after a, um, a couple of weeks, a month, it might even take you just a day, um, what are the triggers? And then obviously try and avoid the triggers. And again, try and diffuse the situation, put it back in your child's court. What is it that makes you unhappy? What is it that makes you frustrated? My other piece of advice is choose your arguments. Some things are just not worth the hassle. If he or she doesn't want to brush their teeth in the morning because the routine has changed and they don't normally do it at that time, let it go. Summer holidays are stressful. If you're on holiday, you don't want them to brush their teeth, they don't need to brush their teeth. Put it back in their court all the time. And just remember, your child doesn't want to have a meltdown. He's just trying to express his need with his very limited vocabulary or his very limited ability to tell you exactly what's going on. But with these few tips and strategies, hopefully we can preempt those situations and your life can be calmer. In the next video, I'm going to talk about expectations. Join me then. Thank you.